morning, good morning everybody. Welcome to another daily vlog. My name is Jess and I post videos every single day over here on my YouTube channel. I would love to have you subscribe and join in on the fun. Um, welcome to another day. So it looks like I'm kind of sitting in the dark. It's, it's kind of dreary outside. It's rainy. It's been like three or four days in a row of solid rain. I think we're supposed to get rain pretty much all week, but the temperatures are increasing. So let me know down below if you guys are starting to warm up, if you're still iced in. Um, we are up to like in the fifties today. So that should be interesting. <laughs> the kids, when they got on the bus this morning, we had to like take out the umbrella and take them to the bus because it was pouring rain, but got them to school. Um, I've been reading a lot lately, so I wanted to talk to you guys about a few books I've read. I just finished another Riley Sager book last night. Let me double check what it's called. Uh, I thought I had it on the tip of my tongue and I don't. Um, I just started a new one, which is weird because I remember starting this one before, but it's not on my list that I've read. So I must have something happened and not gotten to finish it, which is weird because I'm, I'm really liking it. So I don't know why I wouldn't have finished it, but it's Sherry Lapina's Everyone Here is Lying. That is really good. I'm about 20% done with that. I'm on my eighth book for 2024, which I think is pretty good. Um, let's see. It is called The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. I just finished that one yesterday. I really like Riley Sager. I gave this one about an 8 out of 10. It was pretty good. Um, and I'm excited to just keep reading. I read a little bit this morning. Then I got my video edited from yesterday. Got it ready for tomorrow. Did some work on my computer. And now it's time. And I took a shower. Also, I wanted to say this is so cheesy, but I tried to sing along with some of the music I was listening to. And so in each one of those clips, I was singing a Taylor Swift song. All the Swifties out there, let me know if you recognized any of the ones I was singing. There's like three or four different ones. So let me know. Thumbs up if you get them right. Um, got a shower. I cannot blow my hair dry more than like 50%. It's probably like 30%. My hair is so thick and heavy. So I'm just going to let it continue to dry, you know, air dry. But I need to get started on some housework. I worked in my bedroom the day before yesterday. The boys' rooms are clean. Lucy has been cleaning her room. So that the rooms are good. It's the living area that kind of needs to be straightened up. So I'm going to work on that a little bit this morning. Um, and I thought I'd just carry you guys along with me today. It's going to be kind of like a work day. I've got a lot of stuff I'm trying to work on. Yesterday, we kind of took a chill day. I had a headache. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, but I didn't get a lot of stuff done. So now it's like I have to get it done today. We also have church tonight. So um, it's going to be like just a jam-packed day until church tonight. So uh, I need to film a video. I need to clean the house. Um, and keep continue to work on laundry and stuff like that. I have some other work I'm working on for my health coaching. It's just going to be a busy day. <laughs> it's going to be a busy day, which is good. Um, but Mark's in there watching Blippi. I don't know if you can hear that. It's very loud. So I'm going to go in there and find him something else to do here in a minute. And uh, maybe he can help me clean up a little bit. But y'all come spend the day with me. It's going to be a great one. Let's do it. I need to pull out my light because it's really getting, it's really dark in here. But this is where I work. Okay, there's my desk. This is where Layla likes to be. I put her bed right by me. And so she sleeps here while I work. It's the sweetest thing. She is my bestie. She wants to be by me all the time. She's just obsessed with me, y'all. Um, but I also wanted to show you that I have keep I have kept I have kept my room clean. I just need to put away shoes that are out. But other than that, it stay nice and clean and it feels really nice to have this space be peaceful, um, you know, put away everything every day has been really helpful. I've got boots over here I need to put away too, but anyway, as soon as I leave to go in there, she's going to follow me, but she's a sweet little thing. While I'm in here cleaning up the kitchen a little bit, I think I'm going to go ahead and prep some spaghetti squash. This spaghetti squash is very like marked up, but it doesn't feel like it's gone bad. It's very firm, like very firm. Um, so I think it'll be okay. I don't know why it looks like that, but I think this will be a great thing to be able to warm up for dinner tonight before church for myself and David too, if he wants it, he won't be home until after church today, but I could always heat him that up, you know, when he gets home. But 
I have to prep it. So it's like my least favorite thing to do. I know you can do it in the microwave. I like to get it in the oven though. So it gets kind of like caramelized, but I love a good spaghetti squash and Aldi have these for like 67 cents. So I'm going to go ahead and while I'm in here anyway, go ahead and get this roasted up. Also, I pulled out my Stanley because this really does help me with my water goals. I've been doing like the disposable water bottles and refilling it, but I think I'm going to change over today to my Stanley. That way everything stays nice and cold. And I can carry this along with me, make sure I get all my water in. So that's kind of the plan. I just had my cardio for the day. If you know, you know, that's always the worst. Um, I used to like soften it up in the microwave so I could cut it easier, but I feel like it doesn't cook as good. So I just get a really sharp knife and be very, very careful, but it is definitely hard to cut. Scooped out the insides, um, sprayed it with a little bit of this olive oil cooking spray, salt, pepper, that's it. And then I like to turn it upside down. Hey buddy. Like this. And then I'll take off the sticker and then I'm gonna put it in the oven at 375. Mom, it's squash. Just depends. Yeah, it is squash. It just depends how long, um, how big it is, how long to cook it. I wait till the the you can like touch it and kind of feel that it's softer. Uh, but I don't like it overcooked. So I'll show you guys what it looks like and how long it took mine when I get them up. All right, you guys, this took right at an hour. I just kept checking on it. I like it to be like kind of like give a little bit when you touch it. And these were just rock hard, so they took a little bit longer. I like how it gets a little char in there. So all you do, this is so hot. All you do is just take a fork and shred it up. And then um, I'll be able to heat it up for dinner. So good. All right, you guys. I uh, got all that spaghetti squash put away. It made three servings, which is great. Stuck it in some Ziploc bags in the fridge, already portioned out. And now I've got my laundry ready to be folded. So I'm going to go do that. And then I'm going to try to edit a video before the kids get home. So it's 1.15 right now. Mark is just having quiet time out here today, so I just let him watch Peppa Pig laying on the couch. Um, it's going to be quiet out here, so hopefully he'll take a little, just a little rest. That's what I'm hoping. Good good day for Peppa Pig. It's dreary. Um, anyway, so I will see you guys back in a little while. Once the kids get home, it's like going to be a flash before we have to leave for church. I've got a Zoom call this afternoon. And we've got to have dinner, and I'll probably wait and do bath time after church because we'll we get home earlier now on Wednesday nights because our church campus starts a little bit earlier. So that should be no problem, and that'll help the afternoon not be so rushed. So make sure the kids get their homework done and piano practice and all that. So I will see y'all back then. All right, I didn't have a chance to talk to you guys before church, so I'm going to fill you in. We just got home. Um, it's been a very busy day. I got two videos uploaded, edited and uploaded. Um, got some other work done, got some laundry done, got housework done, vacuumed, didn't get a chance to mop, but still I will take it. And then for dinner, uh, once the kids got home, by the way, big news, y'all, big news. Nate got in the spelling bee, the school spelling bee. He's me representing his class. Um, I think they're doing it on Tuesday, so we get to go watch him in front of the whole school do uh, compete for the spelling bee. How exciting is that? Um, so anyway, he got home from school, and so I made everybody dinner real quick. I made a delicious dinner. It's one of my favorites I've made in a while. Um, I took that spaghetti squash. I took two servings, which is about a cup of spaghetti squash. Put it in a bowl. This spaghetti squash turned out perfect. It was not overcooked at all. It was perfect. Um, it's easy for spaghetti squash to get mushy if you overcook it. This was perfect. You have to like undercook it a little bit. Um, that's why I wait for that outside flesh to just get a little bit. Like when you touch it, it gives. Anyway, put about a fourth of a cup of marinara sauce on top of that with um, three ounces of cottage cheese, one ounce of mozzarella, and six turkey meatballs, a little bit of sprinkle of Parmesan, spaghetti and meatballs basically. It was so good. It was like a big portion, so filling. So I'm going to heat up David some 
now because he hasn't had dinner yet. And I think he's really going to like that. Um, then we went to church. It is so, so foggy outside. Like you can hardly see, but we got to church all fine. It was a great service. It was just a fantastic service. I'm really loving Wednesday night service at our church. This is only our second one. We had, I think 24 people, which is really great. Um, kids classes, just everybody's loving it. And I'm so happy. Me and Nate sat in the sound booth. He did great. He's really <laughs> thriving up there. He is so good. And then afterwards, we came back home and we're getting the kids ready for bed. So that's kind of how the evening went. But what a great day. Um, I'm looking forward to putting on my pajama pants and reading some more of my book. It's so crazy, y'all, because... I remember reading this book, but I don't remember what happened, so I don't think I ever finished it. And I only write down books that I finish, but I don't know why I wouldn't have finished it because it's really good. Um, everyone is lying. Everyone here is lying. I've looked multiple through my list. I cannot find it unless I read it before I started keeping track, but I don't think I did because before I started keeping track, I barely read anything. So it's a very, it's a conundrum that... I'm still going to count if I if I read it through I'm going to count it. Uh but I was I was looking up I'm a part of all these different book Facebook groups and I've really been enjoying them because they have led me to some great book recommendations. Um but one of them the girl was talking about asking everybody's opinion if she should log books that she did not finish. And I would say about 50% of the people were saying yes, like you should put them on your reading challenge. You should count them even if you don't finish. Some are saying, well, if you make it like halfway through, you should put it on there. What? Like, if you don't finish the book, it doesn't go in your reading challenge. Like it doesn't get on the list. That is my take on it because I'm type A and like it doesn't really matter. But to me, that feels like cheating. So I don't put a book on my list unless I have read it. Uh, which I, I didn't even know that people thought a different way than that. Like, I just feel like that is the correct thing. I don't know. Do you guys want to see the jeans I got last night at, at Kroger at Kohl's? Let me show y'all real quick. All right, you guys. So I got these jeans at Kohl's and they're the first ones I've gotten that were not plus size. They are size 16, but they aren't in the women's section. So there's no W on the end. They definitely fit tighter than um when they're a woman's size that vanity sizing they're boot cut so i like how they look on my tennis shoes and then this shirt i've had forever i got it from stitch fix it used to fit so tight and i don't know if you can tell with this jacket thing on it is so much looser on me but it actually fits more comfortably i think and then this thing is getting big this is like a this is like a really cute little jacket but it feels like a hoodie. Like it's so soft and comfortable. So here's my church fit, but I cannot wait to take off these jeans and put my pajama pants on and read a little bit more. But yeah, I'm proud of myself for these jeans. They fit really good. Like normally this part, like the butt is where it gets baggy the fastest and it's not baggy right now because they actually fit. So I'll have to keep you guys posted on when these jeans get baggy when we get to go down to the next size. All right, you guys, so that is enough of that. I'm gonna get comfortable, get these kiddos to bed and I will see y'all back later. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I'll see you next time. If you like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Definitely subscribe if you're new. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.